customer success for iMeasureU, which is a wearable tech company that was just acquired by Vicon. I am a senior application engineer at Vicon, and um, I do support in the office and um, travel and do different installs to set up systems. I'm a support engineer for Vicon. Part of my job is to go to different hospitals and universities. I set up the camera systems and then I teach people how to use the cameras as well. Um, when I'm in the office, I'm creating training documentation videos for YouTube so customers can learn how to use it. Um, I'm writing scripts and codes to help customers out answering emails and phone calls. I am the Sports Science Business Development Manager for iMeasureU and I sell a wearable technology that's used for uh, lower extremity load monitoring and athlete return to play. I am the regional business manager for Latin America, so my job is to work on any project that happens in that region. I got interested in biomechanics uh, initially through Oscar Pistorius, a uh, double amputee sprinter, who was initially banned from the Olympics and then they lifted the ban uh, based on some biomechanics research. Um, I started my career as an athletic trainer, so sports medicine, and I had a lot of background in how people move and how they recover um, using biomechanics principles. Uh, then when I transitioned over more to wearable tech, um, it's using a lot of those same principles, it's just applying more objective data to what we're measuring. Uh, growing up, I was very mechanically based. You know, I had lots of Legos and Erector sets and loved solving puzzles. And so I went to school and did engineering, biomedical engineering. Also very interested in the medical side as well. Um, so biomedical engineering in this case had the two just overlap very nicely. I got interested in biomechanics during my undergraduate degree in sports science. Um, biomechanics was a was a huge part of that course and outside of my role as as sports scientist and business development manager for iMeasureU, I'm also a strength and conditioning coach. So understanding how the human body best moves um, is an integral part of improving athletic performance and reducing injury risk. In my final year of biophysics, I had to do three 50-hour projects. My final project was on non-contact ACL injuries in the Australian Football League. And I went to the human movement department at UWA. They were using Vicon for the motion capture stuff. In the process of helping out with them, I fell in love with it and decided I'm going to go do an honors project and the honors project turned into a PhD project and the rest is history. My background's pretty heavily in sports performance, um, strength and conditioning, kinesiology. So I worked in the coaching field for probably about 10 years and so biomechanics is really kind of foundational for coaching athletes. Um, I didn't realize it at the time but kind of having a strong foundation for human performance and biomechanics uh, really helps with being able to coach athletes in movement and get optimal performance out of them. So in uh, my past life, I was a chemical engineer. At the time, I was really into triathlons and biking and cycling, so I was looking for something that was engineering related and uh, maybe along with my passions. And uh, I read a lot about running and cycling mechanics and. I uh, learned about a gate lab at the university near where I was working and um, saw they had a master's program. So I applied to that program and got in and did my research for the next two years at a gate lab. I think like a lot of people working in any field related to biomechanics, I really liked the math and science fields uh, going through school. So when it came time to pick a major, I was looking for something that was science and math related. But I also have this background where I grew up in a rural area in Pennsylvania on a farm and I always worked with my hands at things that were a lot of, you know, me mechanically based. Engineering spoke to me from the beginning, but then I also always had this interest in health sciences and I thought it would be nice to work in a field where you're helping people in some way. So when I learned about biomedical engineering, that just seemed like a really good fit for me. And then biomechanics especially is just this really cool field where you get to look at the body as a machine, at the mechanics of human motion, and work on projects that are then eventually helping people. I just love sport, always have, always will. Started out um, as a kid loving game of squash and was lucky enough to represent New Zealand at squash and then changed into triathlon. Ultimately had my triathlon aspirations 
curtailed by a lower limb injury, just as I was sort of starting to crack it uh, internationally. So if I can help other athletes and coaches and practitioners reduce the risk of injury or ultimately reduce um, the risk of being re-injured through better biomechanics and measuring those things, um, then that makes me pretty happy. We get to work with um, a lot of cool professional collegiate teams um, and researchers in biomechanics as well. And they're always doing cool projects that I get to help out on. It's really wonderful to get to see the different labs using our hardware and software. I feel a lot of reward by getting to see all the different types of research that's going on using our equipment. As a kid, I grew up wanting to be a professional athlete. Uh, unfortunately, that hasn't happened. Um, but I couldn't imagine a better a better career than than working with professional athletes and sports clubs on a daily basis to enhance performance and reduce injury risk, and that's exactly what I'm doing right now. It's getting to see all the cool applications that our technology is being used for. I went to a horse rehab clinic and to see how we integrated our 3D motion capture technology with an ultrasound machine to help in horse rehabs is just one aspect. So seeing how our technology is used to affect the rest of the world and the community at large is the reason why I really enjoy doing my job. The, the broad spectrum that biomechanics covers, um, so there's you know really high level kind of almost esoteric research out there in biomechanics, but then there's the extremely applied aspect to it. Um, and so a lot of the work that's being done in the field is helping with everything from aging to prosthetics to uh, performance and health um, so the broad spectrum allows you to kind of s stay fresh in the field and have new things that you're kind of always learning um, in different areas. What I do is help people across a really wide array of professions related to biomechanics get access to the tools that are going to help them in their own work. So what I find really interesting about what I get a chance to do is work in a lot of different types of labs or a lot of different types of clinics, try to understand the problem that these professionals are trying to solve and figure out how to provide tools for them that are gonna help them get the data they need. And then what's so interesting is then seeing those same people at conferences later, seeing the results of their work and just kind of thinking, wow, you know, I was not involved in their work directly in any way, but what we do is kind of an enabler. And so it's just a lot of fun to be around this community that I think is such interesting work and interesting technology and see the problems that get solved to just kind of help increase the quality of life for people in a lot of different ways. Uh, I would say that biomechanics is a very multifaceted field, so it's very wide-reaching. Um, so if you are interested in something, there's a chance that biomechanics does have something to do with that field, um, so just pursue what you're interested in. Uh, go out and try to get some experience, go and uh, shadow, maybe do an internship at a company or get involved in research, start exploring and figuring out what exactly you're interested in. Take advantage of as many opportunities that present themselves to you. I was somebody who kind of had a lot of opportunities in the sports performance field and, and took advantage of those and it has potential to spread you a little thin, um, but it allows you to um, learn from a lot of different mentors that you might not normally have been in contact with and then it also exposes you to different styles um, in the field or different areas of research and eventually I think it, it opens a lot of work opportunities for you um, and it even can help guide the direction that you want to go in later on. So if you want to do research I would recommend finding a good uh, biomechanics program um, and pursuing your PhD. If you want to go into the industry, I would say get as much experience as you can, whether it's in uh, undergrad or grad school, and just reaching out to people in the industry just to make connections and uh, learn about the different jobs out there. Biomechanics is no longer a career that's limited to the lab or academia, um, so I'd first and foremost advise you to broaden your horizons if, if that's not what you're interested in. There's plenty of opportunities out there, um, whether that be in motion capture or, or wearable tech like me. So yeah, have a look around and, and give it a go. My advice um, has to do with part of my journey to being a 
regional you know, business manager for uh, a company. It really came from my internship opportunities that I did when I was studying. I would encourage anybody to take advantage of internship opportunities because it's a really good opportunity to figure out what, what kind of suits your personality and your likes and decide where you're going to not only be successful, but you're going to really thrive and kind of start a career that you can be excited about for a really long time. And once you're in that career, um, if something interests you and something you want to work on, don't be afraid to ask for it. You know, after interning for Vicon, I came into our support team, worked there for several years, and what I really liked doing at that time was traveling to customer sites and doing installations and training and teaching people how to use their new systems. That led me to go on some of our very first installations in the Latin American region. And coming back from those, I was really excited about having that opportunity. And we didn't have anybody managing or looking specifically after accounts in that region. I asked if there would be any possibility. The answer was, was yes, actually, we want somebody to, to focus on that region and the opportunity was created for me but that came out of asking for it at some point too so I think um, getting a, a wide array of experiences taking advantage of internships and then if there's something that really interests you to try to find a way to ask to work on that project if you're a young person at high school I know when I finished high school I had no clue what I wanted to do um, but I had some skills I guess in, in mathematics and, and science and obviously had, a, had an interest in sports. So the beauty of biomechanics is it really combines all those things. Because if you look at where the world's going, you look at the apples of the world, the Fitbits of the world, you know, having an understanding of how humans move um, is, is a really awesome skill.